This is my NVIDIA Shield TV remote. It stopped working. I thought it was just the batteries, but it's not. I have replaced the batteries and there's still nothing coming out of here. If you hold this down for three seconds, it should go into pairing mode and this should flash blue. It's not doing anything. It's also not pairing with the TV. Let me show you. Right, it's going to pair in mode on the NVIDIA Shield. Here's the remote. Press it down for three seconds. One, two, three. Not doing anything. I just replayed that footage just to make sure it recorded properly. And I could see this lighting up. Here. I'll show a slow-mo. Remote. Press it down for three seconds. I don't know why I said slow-mo. It, it was could just be normal speed. There's definitely some kind of a glow emanating from here. I don't know what maybe you can see that on this camera. I won't know until I've edited it up. So I don't know. I'll just test these batteries just to show you that they are actually working. So this point here is positive and then there's a point on the back which is negative. But if I go from here to here, there we go, we've got 2.8 volts, which is not a lot, and these are new batteries. I wonder if it is draining them, because the ones that were in there were completely dead. But you can see that this connects to here, so both batteries are connected to the point here. And we've got two points here that connect inside the remote control, so we've got a positive, and that is obviously negative. So if we go on that one... Connected to both negative sides there and there. Let's see if we can take this apart. I'm not sure we can, there's no screws. I'm not sure we can without damaging it anyway. Oh, I think I'm going to break this. I think there's some adhesive in this. I'm going to heat this up, see if it helps. Got this set to 100 degrees, which is the lowest it goes. Let's just try and warm it up a bit. Definitely adhesive. There we go. We're in. I think those two points there are going to be the points on this battery that, that match up. So I'm going to pop these back in. And let's see if we're getting voltage here. Yes, we are. 2.8. Right. Well, this all looks perfectly clean. Let's... Uh, Take these little screws out. Yeah, teeny tiny screws. They look like a T2, not the Arnold Schwarzenegger version. Oh, well, this is absolutely perfect, isn't it? I've got no idea. Let's get it under the microscope. All right, so these are the contacts for the battery. Oh, I, yeah, it's not going to be easy to see this because it's a black circuit board. Let's see if we can see anything out of the ordinary. What are they for? 
Yeah, I don't know. But I don't really miss you, baby. So I stand up and speak by my Alright, well I can't see anything wrong with this. Oh. Well let's start probing around the place. So we've got one that way. And nothing that way. Let's try good old fashioned continuity. Right, well that one is shorted on both sides. So where does that go? That doesn't look like a ground trace, does it? Oh, you go to this via. Typical. There's all conformal coating all over this, so this is going to be difficult to find. But that's definitely shorted to ground. Let's uh, try and flip it over and see if we can find that. So it's in like a row of three and it's in the middle. Around here. No, that didn't help. Oh, there's, there's loads here. Ah, it also goes to that via there, doesn't it? How did I miss that? So the one right next to the hole, there's three, and it's the outer one. It's got plastic over it. <laughs> I can't even get to them. It does look like they're all connected to the buttons. I've just got a problem with one of the buttons. Well, they all press in okay. Uh, right, let's check it on ohms. This cap that's shorter, just in case it's just low impedance. Uh, where was it? This one. So on the ground side, we should be getting zero, which we are zero point two. And on this side, zero point five. I mean, that's very low. Is it supposed to be connected? To ground? Do I take that capacitor off? I think I'm going to. Because on the other side of it, it just looks like the, the, the button contacts. Plus it's covered in plastic and I don't really want to destroy it. So I'm going to start there. That should be fairly easy to take off. He says. Well, it was easy to take off. Right, let's see if that pad is now still short into ground. Yes, it is. So maybe it's supposed to. Just double check the capacitor isn't shorted itself. No, it's not. So I'm going to pop that back. It's obviously not that. I think I am going to have to remove the plastic on the other side. Already melted it a bit there anyway. I think it's just to protect... Oh, I don't know actually, are they stuck to it? Ah, uh, well, let's do it. Yeah, they're stuck to it, aren't they? Alright, which means... Well, let's just do it to there. Actually, now I've lifted that. Let me see if it's still shorted. No. So it's not shorted now, I've lifted that contact away. So was that contact just permanently pressed down? Because I presume it should only short when it's pushed in. It doesn't look central either, does it? And I don't think that is... You know, I don't think I've damaged it. I think it was already like that. That would be a really weird fault, wouldn't it? But yeah, maybe, like, maybe it is that. I'm just going to leave that flapping around like that. Because there's no short on it currently. I'm just going to quickly pop it back together. In fact, I don't need to put it fully back together, do I? I can just do that, as long as they're in contact. Right, let's press the middle button. Do you know what? I don't even know if it's supposed to light up blue. I'm just going off what the internet told me. 
I'm just going to go and quickly test it on the TV. No, it didn't seem to do anything. I'm just wondering whether maybe any of these other ones have failed as well. I put these batteries in probably about three, four hours ago when I was messing around with this. And they were definitely full. And the fact that they were 2.8 when I tested it, it's almost like it is constantly being pressed. I'm going to pull these, all these off. I mean, I don't know if they're going to go back on properly. And now in theory, if I just short... Well, I could just use one of these, can't I? If I just do that on that one, let's see what that does. Hmm, again, nothing. I mean, something else could be draining the power, couldn't it? I'll just go and check it on the TV, though. No, so I think I'm barking up the wrong tree there. I wonder if anything's getting warm. Let me get my thermal cam out. Probably not going to be anything noticeable. It's definitely warmest at the bottom, which is where the batteries are. Flip it over. But it's still not, not hot, is it? Let's press one of the buttons and see if anything gets hot. It's getting quite warm, sort of there. Yeah, that one. Why is that one hotter than the others? Was that just a shadow from my finger? I think it was just a shadow. <laughs> Oops. All right, well, this is inconclusive, isn't it? I can't remember what it was when I put these in. 2.848, 2.847, 2 2.846, it's dropping. It's definitely using battery power when nothing's being pressed. Hmm, what is going on? I don't know whether to inject some voltage in there. While I've got the board out, I can see the components. Let's try that. Because I'm not getting anywhere with anything else. Right, I've got three volts going in, it's not drawing any amps. So, again, I think I've bagged up the wrong tree. Three volts going in, no amp draw. What is going on? <laughs> No, I've got no idea. I can only assume that one of these chips has failed. Or maybe the... I don't know. Is it infrared? I don't even know how it works. Whatever this thing is, maybe that's failed. But I don't really know how to test that. Well, it's reading is open. There's no resistance between it. Should there be? I don't know. Right, we've got another cap shorting here. And it goes straight to this chip so all of this rail here is shorted to ground and i'm not sure it's supposed to be all the way up to this inductor or thing whatever it is and right the way through it so it's possible it's the chip or this capacitor or it could be neither but considering i'm not getting anywhere let's take the capacitor off first See if we've still got a short. Yes, we do. And it's not the capacitor itself, it's not shorting on that side. So, I mean, that's a resistor, isn't it? That's a resistor, that's an inductor. I mean, I don't know if it's this. Do I take that chip off? Yeah, why not? Look. 
capacitor's gone to the ninth dimension, or whatever it's called. Found it. That was lucky. I'm gonna turn my airflow down a bit. Let's check it now. Yeah, I don't think it's that chip then. Let's see if that's miraculously fixed it. <laughs> Obviously the answer is no. I went back together nicely. I thought it'd be all loose because of the adhesive, but no, clips in nice. Nope. I've run out of options. If anyone knows what to do or any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that's definitely a stupid remote control. Baby, you give me